Hello YouTube, um, I got a new program here today, it's pretty simple, it's a lot like my other programs, it's just, you know, input, you know, variables, comes out with a straight answer. So, the program today is a uh, triangulation program, the Army snipers use this program to find out unknown distances and to uh, shoot <coughs> and like to adjust their scopes so they can, you know, obviously hit the target. So, the first thing you want to do is, is you want to have, you know, any type of C compiler. Um, any type will do, you know, like you can download lots of them off the internet. So, uh, yeah. Alright, the first thing it, well, the thing after that is, is, uh, you open up a text file, you name it .c, as I did here. And then, it'll ask you, you know, do you want to change this file extension, and you say yes. Um... So, once you open that, it'll bring up a window, oh, sorry, I'm going to open it with the actual version, developer studio. So as you can see here, it's, you know, it's a pretty simple program. All right, so the first thing you want to do is you want to include your source files. This file is, you know, for the math functions and the STDIO is for just the regular functions for the printf and yeah. So after you got that copied down, you want to have main. You want to make sure it's double because the precision of it needs to be double or it just won't work. I tried it with float and it, yeah, or uh, just in if you want to do that and nothing worked. So after you do that, you want to list your variables. After you put the first and our uh, bracket. So the three variables I use for the width, angle, and distance. The width is for uh, like um, for how wide the target is really I guess at what you're shooting at. The angle is uh, at the angle at which um, your center point is at the target and the edge of the target. The angle at which that those two lines intersect. So, and then the distance is the answer variable. So the first thing is printf. You wanna, I just said use this program to find distance for me to another location. That's just like someone else was using this and they didn't know what it was or how to use it. So, and then after that I said enter the width, new line, so it's a lot easier to use. And then scan it new line like I showed here and then percent LF and then width and then so that uh, scans for the variable and then you can call that variable later into the actual formula same thing down here it's printf and then enter the angle and then scan f angle and then here I said the distance I'm defining what my variable should be so it says Width divided by the tangent of the angle. It's very simple. It's basically just basic trigonometry. You probably learned it freshman year or sophomore, depending on how good you are at math. And then to the display my variable or the answer, I said printf, new line, distance, and then yeah, return zero and bracket. So I'm going to compile this using active workspace, yes. Zero errors, zero warnings, go. And it's going to come up with in command prompt. And then you do this. So I'm going to enter the width, which I'm just going to make up something like five feet or something. And then enter the angle, which is, I guess, 44. It'll show it, but you want to make sure it pauses. Like, I guess, uh, you can add your own scanf at the end, so it'll just stay open, but it'll be just a pointless scanf. But, um, yeah. And also, when you enter the width, if you put it in, in feet, the length will be in feet. Just, you probably knew that already, just clarifying for you. So, yeah. And then, you know, you can just go in. Oh, whoops. It'll be right there, along with all the other files. So, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe.
Venice. 